Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I am going to be discussing my predictions for the AFC and NFC championship games for the NFL season that are coming up this Sunday, I believe. Alright, so let's go for a little recap here. First, we had the New England Patriots defeating the Houston Texans very easily, which was an easy predicted game for probably most people other than Texans fans. Then we had the Green Bay Packers beat the Dallas Cowboys on a phenomenal game. Great comeback by the Cowboys, but unfortunately they fell short and Mason Crosby hit the game winning field goal for him. And then we had the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Pittsburgh, or sorry, other way around. Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Kansas City Chiefs 18 16. Again, very close game. Came down to the wire. Unfortunately, a call that went against the Chiefs actually made them lose that game. But, anyways, moving on for that. And then we had the Atlanta Falcons with a surprising dominant victory over the Seattle Seahawks, I believe, 43-20. So we have the Falcons and Packers in the NFC Championship and the New England Patriots and Pittsburgh Steelers for the AFC Championship. Okay, so the first game we're going to talk about is the NFC Championship game between the Atlanta Falcons and the Green Bay Packers. Now, if you love offense in the NFL then this matchup is going to be the best matchup you could hope for in the playoffs. Players like Aaron Rodgers and Matt Ryan, those guys are non-stop powerhouses when it comes to the passing game. They're passing no matter what. Easily both of them are probably going to get over 300 yards unless one of those defenses really step up. So this is going to be a very, I think, a very high scoring game up in the 30s, just like the Packers and Dallas game was. It's going to be up in the 30s. Rodgers is going to show what he can do. And then Matt Ryan's going to show what he can do. But the one thing is, is Aaron Rodgers knows how to spread the field. He doesn't have his main receiver, or he might have his main receiver, Jordy Nelson. But other than that, he still knows how to spread the field and also use Ty Montgomery out in the backfield. But the thing with Matt Ryan is he has Julio Jones, and I believe, I can't remember the other receiver's name, Sanu? No, is this new? Maybe it's new? I don't know. Anyways, but he really has Julio, and Julio is just a monster when it comes to receiving and just becoming an all-star player. He is, in my opinion, the best over even Antonio Brown, but I think he's the best receiver in the league. But it's going to be a phenomenal game between those two. And in my opinion, it's just the way the Packers are playing. It's just how good Rodgers has been playing lately. I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers. It's going to probably be either the high 20s to even maybe high 30s for each team points wise but it's going to be a very good game but I'm going to have the Packers winning this game probably by about 7 to 10 points it'll be a close game but I think it'll be 7 to 10 points so I'm going to have the Green Bay Packers moving on to Super Bowl 51 I think it's 51 I'm if I'm wrong I'm sorry but Packers are going to be moving on to Super Bowl 51 and for the second game, which is the AFC Championship game between the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers, this game is going to be another great offensive show between the two teams. Now, we have obviously the big three Bs in Pittsburgh. We have Big Ben, Tony Brown, and Le'Veon Bell. Those three, they've shown dominance. Le'Veon Bell's had phenomenal games these playoffs. He's shown why he is most likely the best running back in the league as long as he either stays out of trouble or stays out of injury. So those, it's going to be a ridiculously hard task for the New England Patriots defense to try and stop those three. And if those three have a big game, that's definitely going to be the decider between this game or between these two opponents. Opponents? Opponents. And then we have the New, pa New England Patriots offense, which obviously has the likes of the best quarterback, in my opinion, of course, the best quarterback to ever play the game, Tom Brady. He can literally do everything, even at the age of 39, where most people, especially quarterbacks, would have called it quits by now. Would have been a while ago they would have called it quits. He's still pumping, and looks like he still has a few good years in him. It's ridiculous, I know, 42 years old, but... I, I still think he can do it. The way he's playing is ridiculous. Unless something happens to him, it doesn't look like he's going to decrease anytime soon. But with the likes of him and the likes of their receiving core, as well as LeGarrette Blunt and actually Deion Lewis, who had a phenomenal game last game against the Houston Texans with a receiving touchdown, a rushing touchdown, and also, I believe, either a kick return or punt return. I think it was kick return touchdown in the blowout win against the Texans. If he does what he can, or at least a fraction of what he did the last game, then I think those guys will have the edge. 
<clears throat> oh, my voice went there. But I think the big decider here is going to even what I said in the last game of the Pittsburgh Steelers was their defense. Now, their defense played very well against a good Kansas City offense, but New England's on a whole different little level of Kansas City. So it's going to be up to a defense. If their defense is able to keep Tom Brady in check, he could still have a good game, but as long as they keep him in check and where it's not every day, every drive they're scoring some way, either between a field goal or a touchdown, then I think Pittsburgh can come away with this. But in my opinion, I think it's going to be the defense that could be the issue, issue for the Pittsburgh Steers. And I think the New England Patriots are going to advance to Super Bowl 51. Again, if I'm wrong, I'm very sorry. To Super Bowl 51. And I think... It's going to be the New England Patriots against the Green Bay Packers. I think those are actually the two teams I predicted in the beginning of the playoffs when I was talking to my friends, but I may be wrong. But New England Patriots against the Green Bay Packers for the Super Bowl is my predictions. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think and what your guys' predictions are for the games coming up this Sunday. I believe they're both on Sunday this time. There's no Saturday, Sunday. I think they're both on Sunday this time. So let me know in the comments below. As well as if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a dislike if you don't, and tell me why in the comments I don't just want to see a dislike. Let me know why you dislike the video, and I'll answer you back, and hopefully I can fix that for you. And also, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, and thank you so, so much for subscribing if you do. But I'll see you guys in the next video.